everyone wants lower and or stabilized taxes. But how exactly would you propose to do this? That's, you've got to do this in one minute. <laughs> I think we talked about this earlier. There's great examples of where we've, um, you know, entered into shared services agreements with neighboring towns to save our tax dollars. Um, and I think, like I said before, that is, you know, one of the, the foremost opportunities we have. I'd also like to say that some of the leadership that has been on the township committee with Kathy Wilson and John Arvinides has helped reduce taxes in the past year um, in Morris Township by, by, you know, digging into the budget and finding where there are more opportunities. Um, and at a certain level, the opportunities are going to end just in Morris Township. We're going to need to look uh, at a broader scale, and that's why I think we should be looking at um, shared services, whether um, you know, it's through administrative purposes um, or you know, other types of agreements and entering the pilot agreements to, to find what works for us and in our region where we can neighbor with our towns. Mr. Sisler, can you comment on that? Yeah, we, I mean, we do that. Um, and we've been doing that and in the last nine years. Again, we've lowered your taxes twice at the municipal level. Just so you know, every tax dollar that you spend, 25% of that dollar, 25 cents goes to the municipality, about 60 cents goes to our school district, and 15 cents goes to the county. Um, so your tax dollars are very, very important to us. And we've lowered your municipal taxes twice in the last nine years and kept them flat for the last seven. I, I would challenge any town, including Morristown, which is, Morristown's a great town. Um, but they, they have, we have a $35 million budget, they have a $53 million budget. Um, we lowered your taxes last year by $30, and Morristown raised their taxes on their uh, per household by about $80 per, per household. How does that happen? I don't know, especially when Morristown got a $10 million windfall um, from uh, Atlantic Health in a, in a lawsuit. So we're doing it here in Morris Township. We're, we're doing a great job, and it is because of the fiscally conservative um, township committee that we've had for years and years and years doing it again and again and again. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Grazell. Thanks. So keeping taxes stable not only has to do with controlling costs like we've talked about earlier tonight with shared services and such, it also has to do with keeping our tax base stable. And part of that tax base is commercial real estate. Um, unfortunately, we've lost a bit of commercial real estate over the past few years, um, but we need to make sure that we're keeping our remaining tenants in town. We need to keep that tax, commercial tax base stable. Um, one of my frustrations with the whole Honeywell redevelopment is that part of the deal was that they were supposed to build Class A office space at that, at that, at that site. That hasn't happened. The township hasn't put the fire to the feet of the developer to get that Class A office space back in use to grow our tax base. We have a lost opportunity there, and it's still lying fallow. Um, so we need to work harder with, with getting those good commercial spaces in our town, getting good commercial tenants in our town, and working with those that are existing, like the ones on Mount Kimball Avenue, you go and having a talk with them, making sure that those people are going to be staying in Morris Township and seeing what we can do to help them stay in place and keep our taxes stable on the commercial side. Mr. Calvinelli? I think some of the problems are more at a state level than a local level, to be candid. Uh, you look at states like Connecticut and Illinois that are hemorrhaging businesses because of high taxes. Look what's happening in New Jersey. How do you appeal to a large corporation to make its home anywhere in the area? Obviously, you got quality of life, but the taxes that their people would have to pay, whether it be income taxes to the state or, or otherwise, are a little bit prohibitive. We have a stable tax base. The township committee, the governing body uh, of our town, the administration have seen to it that you get a great value for the dollar. Find another town in our, our immediate vicinity where we've had such stable taxes. Show me another town in New Jersey that's lowered taxes uh, twice in the last decade. So uh, that, that all said, that is the challenge. On a broader issue, your property taxes as Bruce referred to are made up of school taxes, your county, and your municipal government. Maybe we got to look at two other slices of the pie as ways of reducing some taxes. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm, are there any 30 seconds? Uh, 